So you're going to start by getting your classic analysis program onto your computer. You should get one of these uh, classic analysis programs for each of your data sets. So uh, you're going to download this, open it in your folder, again, uh, and cut and paste that somewhere sensible where you can find it easily later. So for example, I'm going to put it in my barley folder. Okay, so that's that stage done. You now need to open um, EpiInfo and you are going to select this module here, the classic analysis. We open that up. And you're going to go down to this window down here, which is where you can open up programs. So you can choose to open program and you need to click this button here, text file. And that is then going to um, show you places where you can get your text file. So I'm going to uh, navigate now to where I just saved that um, program uh, file. So I'm going to go to my Dropbox, to my Bali folder and data. And this is the file that I have just downloaded from my email. So we're going to click that one. And it'll show you the content of the file here. And you click OK. Now this very this um, brings a whole bunch of um, script programs into um, into this console here. This very first bit of script is uh, reading the data from the Azure cloud. So you need to make sure that your computer is um, connected to an internet that does not block the Azure cloud. Um, otherwise, this very first step is going to fail. Now, before you actually run any of this script, you can call this code. You need to scroll right the way down to the bottom to the final command, which is this write command. And if you look along here, you'll see this place here. And this is where the, um, the program is going to save your data file. And you're going to need to change that to something that makes sense uh, for you. So this is where it's going to save it on my computer. You may have a different location you want to save your data file to. And you can just uh, you just type in a different um, location. Okay, so once you've done that and your location is correct, you scroll back up to the top, put your cursor at the front of this very first command, and click Run Commands. And what this um, this program is doing is it's reading the data from the Azure cloud. It's then recoding the data um, into things that make it more readable. So for example, um, some of these statements uh, strongly agree would be converted into just a number. And so I have to recode it back into strongly agree. OK, so now we can see from the output window up here that that process is complete. It's read the um, data from this location in the Azure cloud. There was 197 records there. And it has written this file. And this is your um, attitude survey data, CSV file. And this is where it saved it on my computer. And this is a CSV file that you can then use for data analysis. So let's just check where that is. Just going to open up my um, my computer here. So here's my EPI info folder. Here's my output folder, and here attitude survey data CSV, and that's the file that we've just created. And you can use a CSV in both Excel and also in Visual Dashboard. And I'll give I'll explain more about doing analysis in Visual Dashboard in another video. If you ever have any problems with this process, just check what comes out in, in this output window. So say you run this command and there's an error, you will find that it will explain something about the error up here. So just always go up and just check what comes out here. And if you see error written anywhere, just take a screen grab of that and uh, let me know. And um, I should be able to help you with that error so long as I can see the information that comes in your output window. All right. Because you have changed this little command down here, change this to a loca location that makes sense on your computer, you're also going to need to save this program file. So click Save Program. Again, click Text File. It's really important that you do that. And you can just um, replace the one that um, you saved earlier. So I can just click Save here. And it will say, do you want to replace it? And I say yes. And then you click OK. And then next time you open up Classic Analysis, and click this open program, 
and click text file, it will automatically go to the place that you've just um, saved this program to. Okay, and that's it.